Hey guys, Glockster42. I hope this finds you well, and I hope 2021 is treating you better than 2020 treated us. So let's do a post-build review of the Dragon 7.5 centimeter Pac-40 with uh, Gun Crew. Now I've had this kit probably in my stash. Well, not probably. I've had this in my stash probably for oh 10 years, maybe 12 years, and I just I know what Dragon kits are like, and I just couldn't get myself to build it. So. The other night I just sat down like what am I going to build? Grabbed it and like let's do it. Okay, let's. there it is. There's the built up version. Let's just do a quick little kick around of it for you boys. Looks pretty good from a build. Other than that wheel falling off but that's, uh, that's just because I've got it stuck on for painting. So let's take a look at the instruction sheets and see what we've got. Okay, we've got your standard uh, Dragon instructions there. The nice artwork on the bottom. The parts break down with the uh, parts that aren't being used. It's a small kit, and so I guess they figured, well, we'll just have a small instruction sheet. Unfortunately, it is your typical Dragon. Very crowded, very cluttered parts breakdown. <sighs> you know, I just don't know why these guys can't just get there together and give us some decent instructions. But you know what? Everything fit really well. Um, just basically either go in or go out. I just started out, worked the one side out, worked the other side out, did all these little bits and pieces. The cradle, the carriage, the gun carriage was actually pretty good. It went together really well. Um, the uh, arms were good. The tires went together well. The muzzle brake, they give you three different um, variants. Well, I, I guess that's just a dragon thing. Uh, single piece barrel, no seams. Um, apparently they show that they gave us a metal barrel, but I didn't have one in my kit, which is interesting. I just noticed that now. Okay, so they tell you that there's a metal barrel, but I didn't get one. So, step six is really where the tire wheels come off of this kit. Typical Dragon. From here on, the fit, the engineering is just brutal. This gun cradle doesn't fit worth a damn. There's a massive seam down the middle. These are all incredibly fiddly. There's big, thick, heavy uh, injection points that you have to cut and clear. This was a bugger to try and get lined up straight. You really got to take your time, do lots of dry fitting, and really, really, really work at it. These, um, you know, it looks pretty simple just putting all these road, all these uh, wheels and whatnot on, but they're either too big or too small to fit the points. Uh, nothing lines up really well. It's poorly engineered. It gives you um, photo etch gun shield. I chose to go with the plastic just because I absolutely loathe working with photo etch. But let's take a look at that photo etch gun shield. So as you can see, photo etch uh, gun shields were included. They also give you uh, little brass studs for spacer mounts on there. But you know what? If you're going to solder it up, maybe it would work better. But I hate using super glue. I don't like photo etch, so I left them off and went with the plastic. I think the plastic looks just as well. If you want to get super fiddly, and I didn't feel like losing what little hair I have left on this, and like, you know, model building is supposed to be fun, I just left them off. Now, as you can see, it actually builds up to a fairly nice kit. It doesn't fit really well. It's all wobbly and wonky in the bottom, so you're going to have to glue all that up. I left this all apart just for painting. It gives you a couple of different options. They, uh, for the um, wheels, I chose to use the uh, the uh, spoked ones just because I thought they looked a little cooler. And they also gave you the choice of brand new rubber tires or heavily worn rubber tires. I went for the worn rubber tires. Um, all in all, it builds up into a fairly nice kit. It's, it's a little bit fiddly. It's a little bit aggravating some of the parts and some of the breakdown the way they've got it. But, you know, you just, you know, have a drink, take a deep breath, maybe some antidepressants and you'll get through this kit. Now, it also gives you um, figures, which kind of, for me, is the redeeming fact of this kit. Now, let's take a look at the figure instructions. Guys, I don't need pictures of the figures. I just want a plain black and white outline of all the parts. I've built lots of German uh, infantry figures, so I kind of pretty much know where all the uh, parts breakdown is in the layout. These figures are incredible. Really nice detail. We'll take a look at them here in a bit. But you can see in studio lighting, these um, come up a lot brighter than, you know, you need bright lights to see this. Black background with dark blue lettering. What the hell, guys? Thankfully, the way uh, Dragon does it, you know, every um, everything is like, if this is D, all the, fig, all the upper torso, everything's going to be marked D. 
um, G, whatever. Um, guys, just give me a simple friggin' parts, black and white paper, like just like this. This is unnecessary. But let's take a look at the figures. Now this isn't going to show up worth a damn. I should have never painted these uh, black, but I had some extra Tamiya uh, black kicking around, so I, uh, I sprayed them up. So you really can't see how nicely detailed these are. These figures are just beautiful. Uh, the level of detail in the, um, in the equipment, the faces, the uniforms, they're, they're just simply superb. The figures are just excellent. That's a little bit better. I've got my, my flashlight on them. Um, yeah, I like, usually like to... I used to always build my figures and paint them and then put all the equipment on. I just put everything in situ and paint it right, right as they are. So I would... Uh, I'd recommend this kit just for these figures. These figures are really, really nice. So there you have it, boys. Dragon 75mm Pack 40. Well, there you have it, boys. Dragon 7.5mm Pack 40. Would I build this kit again? Maybe. <laughs> if it was a really good price, yeah, I would, uh, knowing how fiddly it is. But uh, it's a really nice, once you, once you get all together, once you get past the funky engineering and the weird fit of the upper part of the gun, it, lo it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to put this in with probably uh, to me a truck and uh, put it in Kursk. There are, uh, I don't think there's any markings. There's no decal options with this. Um, just paint it dark armor yellow, but it does give you Let's kick this in here a nice selection of uh, of 75 millimeter shells Fired and ready to go plus some single holders um, That's really nicely done dragon does their uh, Accessories on these kits really really well done um, Kind of a mixed bag exceptional figures great gun carriage and kind of a wonky upper gun cradle and um, armor skirts, armor uh, skirting around the gun. But all in all, it builds up into a pretty damn interesting kit. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, consider hitting that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Hell, give me a thumbs down. I don't care. Just any interaction is good. It feeds the algorithm. And uh, yeah, if you like what you see, subscribe. Thanks for your time, guys. Take care.